We live in a time full of fear and of fear mongering. It is a spirit that weakens, disables, and even paralyzes our lives and witnesses. The spirit of fear makes us anxious and suspicious. It negatively affects our own happiness and well being and that of people close to us. The spirit of fear makes us withdraw and even hide us from our neighbors and our community, also from people who need us and could be blessed by us. The spirit of fear is the controlling spirit behind anxiety, phobias, compulsive behavior patterns, insomnia, terror, anguish, nightmares, and all fears. The spirit of fear is one of the greatest obstacles to human progress. It is the unfounded fear that is within you and is working to undermine your confidence. The spirit of fear also trying to determine who you are and threaten all your real promises of success in Christ Jesus. Fear can be real or imaginary. And you can experience fear because of your own perception or judgment of a situation. Fear can cause you to feel anxiety, insecurity, stress, depression, and a complete lack of positive feeling. The spirit of fear is one of the strongest spirit in which the enemy uses to steal from the children of God all their blessings. The negative perception of a thing or person can create fear in us. Fear is used in witchcraft for manipulations. It is an agenda of the enemy to steal your glory. Fear can chase away boldness and confidence of a person. The spirit of fear will keep you from trying new things. If you do try, you can't possibly succeed. When you are delivered from the spirit of fear, you have overpowered the devil. So therefore, the devil has no authority to possess your mind and thought anymore. Psalm 34 verse 4 tells us, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Fear comes in where there is ignorance and bad thinking. The Spirit of God intends to renew and transform our minds and our thinking. We must do as Paul counsels in Romans 12 verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 tells us, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power of love and of a sound mind. God tells us not to fear, because He is in control. He is our refuge and strength. As children of God, we are commanded in Scripture not to fear, because we have God. Fear is often not even based on truth. It is based on false expectations, assumptions, and will likely not even occur. More importantly, fear forgets that God is God, that God is in control. If you have a fear of sickness, Isaiah 41 verse 10 tells us, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will help hold you with my righteous right hand. If you have a fear of life circumstances, Isaiah 41 verse 1 to 3 tells us, But now, this is what the Lord says, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by my name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel your savior. If you have a fear of loneliness, Joshua 1 verse 9 tells us, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. If you have a fear of bad news, Psalm 112 verse 6 to 8 tells us, Surely the righteous will never be shaking. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. If you have a fear of anxiety, Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And John 14 verse 27 tells us, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to fear because God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So today I bind the spirit of fear in my life in the name of Jesus. I break every evil covenant that has brought me fear into my life in the name of Jesus. I come in every terror of the night that has brought fear into my life to stop and move from my environment in Jesus' name. You spirit of fear, loose your hold upon my life and my family in the name of Jesus. 
I commend all human agents using the spirit of fear to terrify me in the night to stumble and fall in Jesus' mighty name. The fear and terror of the unbelievers shall not be my lot in Jesus' mighty name. My tomorrow is blessed in Christ Jesus. Therefore, you spirit that is responsible for the fear of tomorrow in my life, I bind you in the name of Jesus. My destiny is attached to God. Therefore, I decree that I can never fail in the name of Jesus. Every bondage that I am subjecting myself to by the spirit of fear, I break you in the name of Jesus. All negative doors that the spirit of fear has opened in the past be closed now in Jesus' mighty name. Every disease, oppression, and depression that came into my life as a result of fear disappear now in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to be intimidated by any demonic nightmares in Jesus' name. Every enchantment and invocation of fear being made against me, I neutralize you tonight in the name of Jesus and I command you to fail. Every association of the enemies in my home with the enemy outside shall not stand in the name of Jesus. All arrangement of the devil concerning my home shall not stand, neither shall they come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy all efforts of the enemy to frustrate my work in the name of Jesus. I nullify every writing agreement or covenant against my work in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, increase my greatness and comfort me on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, as you delight in my prosperity, I pray that you will bless me indeed in my work. Let no household enemy be enabled to control my well-being any longer in Jesus' mighty name. Let all those who are against me without a cause in my place of work turn back and be brought to confusion in the name of Jesus. I close every door through which the enemy has been working against my work in the name of Jesus. No weapon of Satan and his agent fashion against me shall prosper in the name of Jesus. My life is hiding with Christ in God, therefore nobody can kill me or harm me in Jesus' mighty name. I open wide all doors leading to my blessings, my victory and breakthrough, which the enemy have closed in the name of Jesus. Let every spirit working against us in our neighborhoods be frustrated, bound, and cast out in the name of Jesus. Let every power contrary to the power of God operating to suppress people in my area be neutralized in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of fear, of frustration, of defeat, of delayed blessing in my environment in the name of Jesus. I banish every enemy of progress in my neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I reject, renounce, and destroy every agreement of covenant in the environment in the name of Jesus. I reject, renounce, and destroy every evil agreement in my home with any spirit in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I nullify the effect and operations of evil forces around my house in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, get all my stubborn pursuers occupied with unprofitable assignment in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I fire back every arrow, spiritual bullet, and satanic missile fired at me. O Lord, reveal this secret and expose all my enemy masquerading as my friends in Jesus' name. Father Lord, make it impossible for my enemies to use my footmark, my urine, my feces, my hair, my clothing, and shoes. O Lord, I praise you from everlasting to everlasting because you are God. Father, I praise you for your goodness and mercy that help hold me in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness over me and my loved ones since the beginning of time. Thank you, Lord, for the abundant life and living hope that I have in Jesus Christ. Father, I receive the grace to wait upon you every day in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord is my strength, and so daily with joy I draw water from my heavenly Father's well of salvation. O oh Lord, let my physical strength be renewed like that of ego in the name of Jesus. Physically and spiritually I decree and declare I shall not faint and I shall not fall in Jesus' mighty name. I receive the strength to mount up with wings of ego daily from you, Lord. I receive the strength to run without become weary and to walk without fainting in the name of Jesus. Father, you are the God of inexhaustible riches and abundance. Let all my depleted resources be resupplied today in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah my God, you provide refreshment for Samson in the wilderness. Refresh me, O Lord, that I will not waste away in the wilderness of life. Father, empower me for battle. Teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I decree in the name of Jesus that my thirst for holiness, my passion for prayers, and my zeal for the Lord's service shall be renewed every day. Father, I bless you for comforting me on all sides and satisfying my mouth with good things. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to fear. Every power behind the activity of fears in my life receive the wrath of God and be consumed in it in the name of Jesus. Everything I have feared shall not come upon me in Jesus' name. Everything I was afraid of shall not come to me in Jesus' name. The local wickedness I have ever been afraid of will not have a hold on me today in Jesus' name. The evil obtainable in my family background will not have a hold of me in Jesus' name. 
The evil everybody dreaded in my family would not locate me in Jesus' name. The failure and disappointment in my marriage that people fear would not manifest in the name of Jesus. The financial failure and embarrassment that others fear would not befall on me in Jesus' name. The fear of backsliding I have nursed and nurtured up in my life will not come upon me in Jesus' name. The fear of not being spiritually fulfilled will not germinate in my life in Jesus' name. Let the fear of committing unpardonable sin wash away from my life in the name of Jesus. Let the fear of not being able to overcome my weakness in me dry to its roots in the name of Jesus. Let the fear of missing the rapture go back to the bottom of the pit in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every fear of compromising my fate in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every fear of losing my anointing and salvation in the name of Jesus. I break every evil covenant that has brought fear into my life in the name of Jesus. I come in every terror of the night that has brought fear into my life to stop and move from my environment today in Jesus' name. You spirit of fear, loose your hold upon my life and my family in Jesus' name. I come in all human agents using spirit of fear to terrify me in the night to stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. My destiny is attached to God, therefore I decree I can never fail in the name of Jesus. Every bondage that I am subjecting myself to by the spirit of fear, I break you today in the name of Jesus. Every disease, oppression, and depression that came into my life as a result of fear, I destroy you today in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be intimidated by any demonic nightmare in Jesus' name. I destroy all efforts of the enemy to frustrate my work in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, increase my greatness and comfort me on every side in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for eliminating the spirit of fear in my life forever, in the name of Jesus. Amen.